previously on Preps. Eddie Curry goes down in the heat, and everybody in the gym holds their breath. It scared me when Eddie hit the ground, because when Eddie goes, it means that the rest of the team really has to step up. But the big man gets back up and leads the Thornwood Thunderbirds toward the state championship. I want to go down state. That's all we playing for is go down state. I'm the king of the black top, cooping half court shots. I come correct, the stats are whack compared to points that I drop. I play to win and I'm playing for keeps. I'm keeping my game tight and fulfilling my hoop dreams. Real kids. I'm Eddie Curry, senior, Thornwood High. Real dreams. I'm Kyle Kleckner, senior, Donner Grove North High School. Real life. I'm Sean Dockery, Jr., Julian High. These are the real stories of preps, Chicago Hoops. It's the sectional finals, and Eddie is lowering the boom on Brother Rice. Nothing's going to stop him from his dream of going downstate. Thornwood wins the division. One more to get to the state tournament. Who next? These guys are next. The Lincoln Way Knights, a team full of sharpshooters and pectoral muscles and plenty of scraps. You guys won your sectional too. Now it's time to meet up with Eddie. I think Eddie might be uh, a little worried about us too. Eddie's got reason to worry. Lincoln Way got a 25 and 4 record, second best in the state. I'll see you Tuesday, Eddie. Tuesday, game day. And to get ready for the big game against Lincoln Way, Eddie and the Cruisers hang out at Melvin Buckley's house. You came on my game, you played on my rules. Hey, what was the score before we put our work, you know? Coming over to Melvin House, I think it brings us a lot closer. Gets us to know each other better and stuff. And I think it helps us to prepare for the game. They, they're a pretty good team, as, as you can see from their record, 25 and 4. But I don't really think they can play with us. It's going to be a friendly rivalry and everything, but, you know, they pretty much play a zone the whole game. Uh, you know, not anything we haven't seen before, so it's going to be a you know, pretty good game tonight. They're a great team. You know, they play well as a team. You know, <laughs> any, any team that plays well as a team, you know, that's, has a good, you know, <laughs> solid nucleus. It's capable of beating <laughs> any team on any given night. I know that Lincoln Way has a couple of great players that rank James Augustine and uh, Kevin Menard. And I know that they play good as a team. Did you hear Aubrey say that? Aubrey, did you say that? Yeah, Aubrey. yeah, I said that, Justin. That's why I asked you, did you pay attention in English today? What's up? Uh, man, what your conversation got to do with me? I'm feeling fine. Uh, I, think, uh, I think it's going to be a real good game tonight, really exciting game for fans. and for the school to watch. And for a pre-game meal, a little prayer, and some burgers. How okay. many Justin have? Okay, man. Three? Justin had three. This is a big you for that house, right? Hey, 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 but the big man needs something with a little more sustenance. It's a precise moment I needed. Help! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, okay? Give me a piece. Hey, fellas, leave some for Eddie. He's gonna need his strength. Eddie, everybody all over your steak, baby. Now hurry up. Hey, 
Yeah. Hey, I got the children in the car. Oh, I'm sorry, I said right there, baby. I'm sorry, I'm pointing, I'm saying right there, I thought you saw me. You got some steak sauce. Come on, man, slow down, quit playing, for real. Come with me. This ain't good before the game. <laughs> yeah, but it works for Eddie. He needs it. So let the big man eat. Chill out and watch a little TV. Man, get your head bread to stop whining. What are you watching? Man, that's you. Getting dunked on. Nah, that's not gonna happen tonight. Even though you do got a bum ankle. My foot, my foot is fine right now. Right now, it's good enough for me to play. I say it's about about maybe 75 percent, 80 percent. I mean, but once game time comes, it shoots right back up to 100 percent. So fine with me. Thornwood has never made it this far. As a, as a matter of fact, last year they got beat before they even made it to the sectional. So this is the furthest Thornwood has ever advanced. And when we go downstate, it'll be the first time that Thornwood has ever went downstate. And when we win it all, it'll be a first state championship for the school. So this is all a team of firsts. Hey man, somebody stole my Jordans, man. What? Yeah, I can't find them. What did you wear today? My old ones. Gotta go back to the old. Man, boy, they're right across the street make the two every day. First I get my ankle like put on this machine, this electric electricity type stuff, and it helps to circulate the blood through my ankle so it don't get swollen, take some of the swollenness out. And then I put it in the ice whirlpool. Painful stuff, man. There goes EC. No Jordans. A gimpy ankle and about to play the biggest game of his career against Lincoln Way. Coming up, Eddie and the Cruisers take on Lincoln Way. Winner goes downstate. They're standing in our way of going downstate, so hopefully we're going to take them out tonight. St. Xavier University, the site of the Super Sectionals. A war is about to take place inside, cousin. And a tremendous ball game for the capacity crowd of 6,000 fans, all painted and pumped. the tip, Lincoln Way finds their big man, James Augustine, who rips a dunk. Eddie looks a little nervous. Settle down, big man, settle down. Junior Pierre Thomas starts off the score. And Melvin Buckley matches the three with one of his own. Did you see that? He just hit Eddie in the face with the ball. Not a good move. They woke up a sleeping giant, and he ain't happy. Uh-oh. And that's what happens when you go around throwing balls at 6'11".
Kevin Minard silences T. Wood crowd and plays a little deep. Menard scores again, getting Lincoln way back in the game. Down two. But Eddie has an answer. A big answer. And Melvin Buckley's jumper puts Thornwood up six. Buckley stays hot, hitting the three to start the quarter. Augustine takes it to Eddie, giving him his first foul. But Eddie still cleans up inside. Buckley hitting from the outside, and Eddie pounding inside. How can you stop this one-two punch? That's how a second fast, the big man's got to take a seat. Make it bounce. Make it bounce. And with Eddie on the bench, Lincoln Way takes it right to the cup. And scores again inside at the buzzer. The Thornwood lead is down to three. It's anybody's game now. I was very impressed. I think uh, the biggest turning point in the first half is when uh, the guy, the other player, threw the ball off of Eddie. I think he really angered him, and he took his game to another level. I think this game is uh, throwing words to win or lose. It was a good first half, man. It, throwing words got up on him, but Lincoln Ray didn't let up. They came out with a lot of intensity. Big Eddie came, Big Eddie came to play. Once he came out the game, that's when really Coming up, the second half gets scrappy. Bro, come on, man. And vocal. What game are you watching? No prep, baby. No preps. No preps. <laughs> Thornwood 27, Lincoln Way 24. One half to go. Eddie, 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 Eddie. And guess who starts off the half? M. Buck for another three. He's in the zone of his own. Make the call! It's back to the inside game for Eddie. Melvin Buckley takes his game inside too. He gets another bucket and a big hug. But Lincoln Way hangs in there, keeping the lead under double digits. With the third quarter clock winding down, Pierre Thomas hits the three to put him up 10. Lincoln Way can't stop Eddie, so their fans are trying to shake him up. Only one quarter to go, and Eddie's smelling blood. (laughs) 
but there's no give in Lincoln Way. Still hustling for the ball. Referees, what's wrong, man? Come on, blow the whistle. My goodness, that's the worst referee here. Man, he's the worst referee in here. Ref, come on, man. What game are you watching? That dunk there may have sealed the deal for Thornwood. No, that one did. M. Buck flying in and giving them a 14-point lead. Nicole Curry's filling it. And that's the way to end it, with an exclamation point. Tough game, kid. Tough game. You just ran into a beast tonight. are going downstate. I'm just going to turn this mic off and let the fans do the talk. And that's what's important. 
It took the team to get them here. It didn't take just Eddie, it took the whole team. What are you looking to establish in that opening round game to try and push along toward the wooden tower? We're just looking to play good defense and um, uh, run the offense well and just uh, establish ourselves as a team that, that uh, deserves to be downstate. Like that, man. No, nobody gets a piece. No, I'm getting a piece of that. This is my name. No, I'm getting a piece of that. I bet you're getting it. I bet you're getting it. You're getting this autograph now, man? Huh? Whoa! Mel, E. P. Oh, what? Who are we? 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 Yeah, we know who you are. And the state attorney's about to find out. Better look out, Illinois. Coming up on Preps, it's down to just two in the Chicago City Championship. Oh, yeah. The Crane Cougars and Will the Thrill Biner going up against Penel Brown and the Mighty Mustangs of Morgan Park. It's going to be a good game. We, have, we expect to come out on top, though. They done beat us twice already. Third time is the charm. Winner goes on to the state championship. Now, fellas, we've done a lot of work. This is the game we've been waiting for. We're not going to let these guys come in our backyard and take it away from us. Family on three. On the five, next five, press. One, two, three, five. I'm the king of the bag. Work tonight? You ready to get some board? Yep. Now, these guys are going to come after y'all tonight. And y'all better be ready. I know. And don't be doing sugar coating. Get that ball. Go up there and get that ball. Get it. Bring it down like you own it. When you go to the hoop, go to the hoop like you're on the hoop. Don't be standing around goofing and looking at the ball. No, that's your ball. It don't belong to them. That's your ball. That's where you got to play ball tonight.